Hi, I'm John from the 16460 Gearheads. We're a team from Brookfield, Wisconsin, uh, and we'd like to talk to you about our progress so far uh, for the 30-hour build at Homestead High School. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, plantier gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com robots to learn more and apply for discounts. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. Basically, what we're starting with is this claw. The way it works is basically just some helical gears if you'd like to open and close it. Uh, just to show how that works, careful the back isn't completely attached there. So it's basically just a servo right here connected to a, a little hole right here that allows it to open and close. And that's about it for the claw. And we're currently printing some modified uh, claws for it that will allow it to actually be wide enough to grip the balls since uh, this is more of a generic design that we designed ahead of time to be reassembled here. Uh, now we can talk about our chassis design, which was reused from last year. Yeah, so this is our chassis design. This is like kind of like the lift mechanism. Um, it is, we have all of the um, batteries and motors like in the, uh, on the bottom for the center of gravity. So when we have something that extends outwards, um, the weight doesn't go onto that and it's instead um, the robot is more stabilized. Um, we have like our slides here so we can change the color for our alliance. Um, and we're basically, this is um, the basic of what our robot was last year. We're kind of reusing it and obviously adding some modifications, um, what we're going to discuss here and what we did discuss. OK, now uh, this is our uh, outtake. So it's we've made it out of cardboard right now. And what it does is we have it mounted like this. And then we have uh, two motors that are on each side. and the claw from here drops it into the outtake and then it rolls down. Um, we have our two motors and they will like fling it up. And then we're also planning to add a um, little uh, kind of mechanism that boosts the balls up because right now the motors uh, are a little too high and we also want the ball to come up into the um, rolling wheels. All right, so um, software-wise, it's pretty simple. Right now, we have a, a drivetrain with FOV, and uh, we're planning on having one servo and one motor to control the claw and the intake system. Uh, the motor is going to flip this from a grabbing position to a dropping position, and the balls are going to roll down that uh, little track. And we're going to have a servo down here where, as uh, I have described, push the ball up and we're going to have two motors control the uh, spinner so the ball can be shooted. Thank you for watching. We're really glad to be here and be working on our robot. If you'd like to see more progress on all of our robots, feel free to check out more of our progress on Fun's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, plantier gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com robots to learn more and apply for discounts.